Hey friends, I just wanted to pop on here and just give you an update with what's happening with life and moving to this place and stuff like that. As the title suggests, I moved to Toronto for filmmaking, of course, and um, there's a few different reasons why I did so. The main one was obviously wanting to get out of, you know, your parents' home and grow up and spread your wings and stuff like that. And I'm super excited to do so and like, work on projects and just be able to like film videos whenever I can. I actually moved in with my cat. She's right over here. And this is Zoe, of course. She's been featured a few times. Oh, she's loving the new place too. Uh, she fits in with like the decor, everything being orange and stuff like that. But super excited to be downtown and just be in the midst of everything. Like this is where all the action happens in the film industry in Toronto and I saw myself commuting like four or five times a week to come into the city. Each way it was about 40 minutes drive and it was just such a hassle to do so. And it just felt like the right time to move out and spread my wings a little bit as an artist. And, and I thought it would light a bit of a fire under me and just make me more hungry as a filmmaker, which I'm also excited about because, you know, if I don't have anything in the works, like I better make something happen for myself which is exciting. And it's kind of crazy because when I did move in, it was like, I got so busy with client work, which is also why like I haven't been consistent consistent and posting. Um, literally right when I moved in, I had like a shoot the next day and I've been editing nonstop, just these like small little projects and stuff like that. Um, but there is exciting stuff to come. There are a bunch of video ideas I want to do. Like this place is so visually aesthetic that I can film so much in here, like lighting tutorials and stuff like that. Another reason why I moved into the city was mostly actually for networking opportunities. Like I found it very difficult to drive 40 minutes each way when I wanted to just go for coffee with somebody, you know, obviously not a lot of people live like outside of the city that work in the film industry and I'm not gonna ask them to come to me for just one coffee meeting and then drive back home. So I figured by being in like the, the mix of everything, it would hopefully lead to more opportunities. Obviously that's sort of the intention. There was just a lot of hurdles in the way in order to do that. I had to drive into the city. Uh, it was far, I was spending a lot of money on gas and uh, obviously living here is more expensive and being in the city is expensive, but I'm sort of looking at this as an investment in my career because sure, it's costing me money, but I'll be able to network more and just film whenever I want. Just light a bit of a fire under me and I I felt myself just getting in a bit of a slump being at home and you know, obviously the comfort of being home. And I, I just think it was just what I needed at this time in my life. And I'm actually like kind of writing a little short film about, you know, moving out and growing up and finding your voice as an artist and like overcoming self doubt and stuff like that. Uh, if you're interested in that, let me know actually, because I've been like super considering shooting that, which would be cool. Good to be in a city, honestly, I was outside of Toronto for like so many years and just in the suburbs, you know, here you can just walk anywhere, hop on your bike, it's easier to meet people. And yeah, exciting stuff in the works also like, it's cool because the channel has grown so much from a couple videos and the opportunities that I'm starting to get, I literally would have never have dreamed to have gotten these opportunities or get these opportunities and talking with brands that like I would have dreamed to have worked with and you know now all that stuff is hopefully becoming a reality and been reflecting a little bit on myself and this stage in my life I think it's sick to even go back on this channel to the early videos you could see like a less confident person just a timid person in his bedroom and now it's like grown to this big thing and uh yeah it just feels cool like i'm i'm just really grateful i always preach in my videos the perfect project doesn't land in your lap you have to actually go out and create it yourself that that was the case for amber that was the case for depop so many opportunities have arisen from doing those projects so like it sucks when you're planning them and like no one has your back and no one is behind you and stuff like that i've been reading this book it's called the the seven habits of highly effective people and he talks about how there's private victories and then that turns into a public victory so for example me with writing my short film it sucks in the moment like i i literally hate doing it when you finish it yourself that's sort of like a private victory and it won't become a public victory until it's hopefully done one day and people see it. There's a few projects that I want to shoot this summer and this spring that I think you guys really enjoy, like 
doing some more shoot breakdowns and stuff like that. Also, if you count how many practical lights I have, let me know how, how many you count in the comments, but I do love my practical lights. Yeah, very off the cuff video for me. Usually all my videos are very scripted and I told myself I wanted to get better at just talking to the camera one-on-one. -on -one. As for other things, I've listed my C200 for sale. Like uh, I'm kind of over it to be honest. It's very big, it's very bulky. It doesn't really fit my style of shooting these days. I think I wanna go with something a lot smaller, like maybe not Komodo because I don't wanna spend that kind of money now that I have this overhead. Um, maybe something along the lines of an S5-2X, one of those, I don't know if it's X2 or 2X. Honestly, super out of touch with cameras. You know me, I put a lot of my effort into like the creative of things. If you're at this stage in the video, thank you for watching because that, that's crazy. Um, this was felt so rambly to me, but whatever. Thank you for watching.